Thank you for watching the TDC Hot Rods YouTube channel. Hello guys, welcome back. Um, so in this episode, well, episode, this video, um, I don't know that I've talked about this Land Cruiser ever on here. I don't know. So it's it's a uh, mismatched of a 69 and a 73 Land Cruiser. Um, it's been here for quite some time, but it was a huge project. So um, I've been slacking really hard on this one. And <laughs> now that I'm going to paint it, I'm going to paint it in this video, um, at least part of it. Uh, I figured I'd make a video and explain what all I've done. So the gentleman has owned it for about 10 years and um, it's a 73 Toyota Land Cruiser. Um, and if anybody knows anything about Land Cruisers, they rust out a lot. They're very rusty. I don't, I think it's a battle between an international scout and a Toyota Land Cruiser at which one is rustier. They just both seem to, I think the Scout's probably rustier, but, um, so the gentleman bought it about 10 years ago and probably eight years ago, um, he brought the Land Cruiser to me when I was working at a body shop a couple of towns away and, um, <coughs> wanted me to do a restoration then. Well, the owner of the body shop didn't like that idea at all. And this guy's not looking for restoration. He's looking for what I call a facelift. Um, he's going to use this thing up in the hills. He's going to have fun with it, but he wants it to look good while it's going down the road. And he doesn't want his seat falling through the floor because it's so rusty. So it's not anything perfect. It's not getting an engine or a tranny pulled out of it. No axles pulled, like nothing like that. So it originally was very, very rusty. Um, so this main brace here on the original ones are C-channel. And they just pack dirt on the inside. And they all rust out right there. Well, this one is way too heavy. But it's, the owner asked me to make it he extra heavy. So that is quarter inch thick 2x2 two two square tubing. Um, it's not going to rust out. Um, it, we replaced this floor pan, the upper wheel tubs on both sides, the quarter panels, the rocker panels. There was a rust spot, nope, not there. There was a rust spot like in this area on the fender on both sides. Um, yeah, so it's had lots and lots of rust repair. Um, the top that goes up here is 69 the hood is 69 this door is 69 that door is 73 and most of the rest of it's all 73 um oh and the both rear doors uh, were replaced um so it is going hugger orange on the outside and i've already painted both doors the hood and both rear doors i have a handful of little miscellaneous stuff like random little small things that I need to paint orange and yeah and then after I paint the outside of the body all the orange will be done so it's going orange from this line here out and from this line here out so this little strip here will be orange I'll bring the orange up here like this and across and the dash it'll be orange windshield pillar orange and then everything from here in will all be raptor liner bed liner um, the inside of the top will be orange except for the very top of it like the headliner area will be a white bed liner and then the very top of the top um, I'll show that when I actually go to paint it will be also white bed liner. Um, the grill and other random knickknacks will be black. Um, 
he wants the frame. We're getting a new front bumper, so minus the bumper, the frame will be reduced down Raptor liner, so it's super thin. It, it's something that I have played around a few times on my own personal vehicles, and I really like how it looks. So I reduce the, the Raptor liner down and then spray it on, and it almost is like a factory undercoat kind of texture. It's not a super coarse bed liner texture. Um, so everything frame-wise, suspension, and all up in here will be all that, all that Raptor liner. Um, the grill will come out and be black. Underneath the hood will all be black. There won't be any orange under the hood except for he's thinking about maybe painting like little knickknacks orange. But um, the owner has been coming down and helping me a lot on it. He um, he works at the hospital, but he's always wanted to just learn different things. So he has been coming down a lot. Like, if it wasn't for him, this thing would not be getting done right now. He has been super helpful. Um, so, I am going to um, clean up a bunch of my little messes and get this thing masked off as much as I'm going to mask. I'm not going to mask a whole ton of it because um, a little bit of overspray isn't going to hurt it because of what else I'm doing. Um, but I will be masking... A fair amount so I am going to get to masking and then uh, paint this bad boy get make it orange that'll be exciting so yeah anyways I'm gonna get to work okay so it's all uh, it's all masked off and wiped down and uh, ready to go so you can kind of see what is not masked and what is, and that will tell you kind of what uh, what will be orange and what won't be. Um, but yeah, so very excited. I don't like masking. Masking is just one thing that is a uh, pain in the butt to me. Um, my dad, so he's been an uh, auto body guy for 40 years, and he loves masking, but uh, I definitely didn't get that from him. Um, anyways, so we are getting ready to spray this thing. So I'm going to put this phone on the stand and get a little time lapse going, and we will get to spraying. <music> It is orange. I think it looks awesome being orange. It is uh, 1970. Yeah, look at that, baby. 1970 Chevy Hugger Orange is what color it is. And it's going to have a lot of black accents, which I think is really going to make this thing pop. Look at that where the sun's hitting it. Oh yeah. This thing looks awesome. Looks sweet. Yeah. Anyways, so I'm going to let this thing sit for a little while and unmask it. And then when I pull it out in the sun, um, I'll make another little video of it out in the sun. I think it'll look pretty darn sweet. Alrighty, guys. It is all unmasked. It's been a few hours since it was painted, so I brought it out here in the sun to uh, finish drying this stuff. So it's single stage, um, so it takes a little bit longer to dry. And so I'm gonna put her in the sun so then we can get it dry. The We're trying to have this thing done in a couple of weeks. and So I still have a lot of 
blacking out to do under the frame and all the inside and under the hood and stuff like that so um but yeah this thing the pitch i mean the video doesn't do it justice at all like this thing looks awesome looks fantastic love the color i'm not a huge orange fan but man this thing looks awesome Oh yeah, and it flowed out real good. Look at that, pretty, pretty, super pretty. Let's see if I can get a, I can't get a super good angle. But, um, so that's about all that's gonna be on this video. Um, I need to find somewhere the sun's not facing me, or <laughs> facing you guys. Um, but I have, a ton more that I'm gonna do to it. I totally dropped the ball by not making videos of this thing before. I have some pictures of when I started on it that I'll have to dig out and I'm gonna make like a collage of all the different pictures of when I and turn it into a video. Um, but um, I'm gonna start making videos every time I work on this thing. So uh, yeah, hope you guys like it and uh, um, hope you look forward to seeing some more. I'm definitely going to be putting a lot more videos of it. Hopefully it'll be done next couple of weeks, maybe a month at the most, but next couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, um, I don't really know what else to say. So, um, wow, my mind is blank. Thank you guys for watching and, uh, we'll see you on the next one.